Hey everyone, welcome back to Apocalypse Guitars. Yes, we're back at it. Um, I did say we're going to make necks and stuff. Um, trying not to cuss. Trying not to. This is family friendly entertainment. How to. Um, anyway, we're going to um, do the start of making necks today. And uh, there's a few things we're going to do here. And I'm going to show you. So let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see, we have our maple boards or maple blanks here yeah yeah they're boards you could say at least and what I've done as you can see is I've traced out the neck and I used my my uh, neck template here now as you could tell the templates not really in the best of condition but see this is the thing this is the thing folks you don't need fancy ass templates in order to build a guitar. Now, you don't need to go out and spend fifty dollars at like Stu Mac or whatever, wherever you, wherever they sell templates. You don't need to spend fifty dollars for a nice clean one. You can make templates yourself from scrap wood at home for nothing. Now, as long as you're accurate, as long as the template is accurate. There's nothing to, there's, you don't need a fancy one. You, you're all set. So basically, you know, just take a scrap piece of wood. It's got to be straight. You know, that's the thing. That's, that is the one thing, the one key that you need to understand that the template does have to be flat and straight. If it's not, you're going to have problems with tracing and getting things accurately measured and shit like that. So, oops, I said shit. Sorry. Um, but, you know this is this is a nice you know template for what it is it's not fancy it's it's kind of as as screw holes in it and shit but it's accurate it's measured correctly and it works it's flat it's straight so there's nothing wrong with it it works perfectly well um, so I have I have this for a six string I am going to make one for a seven string because I'm going to be making seven string models as well coming very soon. So we've done that. We've you know kind of draw drawn it out. Now here's the thing: if you have an old neck laying around, right? What you could do is you could use use this as a reference to what you're doing. See now, if you if I put this up against here right put that up against here let's try to get it all the way down to the end of the board here let's try to make this as accurate as we can here there we go see it it's accurate to the nut line it's totally accurate you don't see any drastic pencil marks and that's what you want to see you want to have an old neck um, laying around if you do have one and you know reference it and this is totally accurate so you want to make sure you cut where the nut line is though um, so that you can kind of help yourself guide you to where the nut line is going to be now um, also I have this old headstock here and you can also use this as a guide for your tuning peg holes you know that's what I use it for I use it for the guide for the tuning peg holes because it is accurate uh, this is an old Ibanez uh, headstock that I fucking carved out and shit like that and I hacked up. But it's accurate. The, the, the holes are accurate, so I use that as a template. Again, you don't have to be fancy. Um, so we got this. And then over here, we're going to be making a fretboard. out of. Uh, we're going to be making a maple fretboard. And again, this is something you can do, you know, just by you know templates or even an old neck laying around you know again nothing fancy and so we're gonna do this as a fretboard um, if you can see it the lighting's kinda shit in here but whatever um, so and then with this with this thing you can do headless guitars you can do headless necks or whatever um, there's a whole mess of things you can do with just a simple template um, and you know I plan to do headless guitars as well um, so we got this we have another one over here uh, and now I can get I can get I don't know two 
three, four, five. I can get six uh, fretboards out of this. Maybe more because I, with a fretboard, I'd cut this in half to the size of a, to a thickness of a fretboard. Um, so I can get about six, maybe more, maybe double that fretboards out of this. And I can get maybe two or three necks out of it, uh, depending on the size of the neck and, you know, whatever. If it's a seven string, maybe you can get two out of it. But usually a six stringer, you get maybe two or three. So it's everything, everything is great. Now, as you can see, there is flaming here. Now, this is going to be, this flamed on everywhere. It's flamed all over the place. So uh, this is going to be a nice neck when I'm done with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have the fretboard match the the neck. Maybe do a all maple neck. I don't know. We'll f we'll figure that out when we get to it. But yeah, we've done that over here too. We've got the accurate nut line right there, and it is best to draw a center line on your drawings or on your templates because that helps you also guide your your nut line to be square and you want shit to be square um, you know it, it, it also helps with uh, fret slotting if you're gonna do fret slotting which I'm gonna do on this fretboard here um, uh, all my fretboards all of these maple ones I'm gonna do I still have to draw out some maple fretboards but yeah we're gonna slot these and it should look totally great now as I mentioned we're gonna do the flat headstock. We're not gonna do the angled. Uh, now I might do I might do one angled headstock uh, on one of these boards. I'm not sure yet. And there is an easy way to do angled headstocks if you don't have a thick, thick, thick piece of uh, lumber, right, or timber. Uh, and that I'll explain that in another video. But to make it simple for this video. Um, what you do is you cut, usually you cut with a bandsaw. I, I cut with a bandsaw at an angle. So say, say your board's like this, right? You cut it at like an angle like that. Uh, and then you reverse it and glue it. Well, first you gotta, you know, obviously you gotta plane it down and make it flat and everything like that. And then you glue it. But that's another video for another time. But yeah, we got the next drawn out here, as you can see. We got the fretboard. So now I have an accurate idea of what my fretboard's gonna be. And my necks are what you know, the, the nut lines, the necks, everything. And then I could take this template, my old Ibanez headstock, and then what I can do is I can accurately drill the holes or mark them out um, because of you know they have to be accurately spaced uh, that's just how it is um, and then you know if you have one of these and eventually you want to make your own you can use this you know simply for tuning peg holes you know so again nothing fancy the whole I think the reason why people like the good clean fancy stuff is it's it's basically just an ego thing in my opinion it's an ego thing you don't need fancy expensive stuff to build guitars as long as it's accurate and as long as it's does its purpose then hey you know shit you don't have to do much you know you don't have to spend a lot of money you know that's that's more time you have to do your own thing and to make it perfect so there you go guitar building let me tell you something guitar building is a learning experience it's trial and error you know you go through you go through these builds and then you learn from them you know what did i do wrong what could i done better here this time around what could i you know what could i do in the future it's a whole learning experience and you know you'll learn it if you're if you're thinking about building guitars you'll definitely learn things when you go along trust me my first you know three guitars were pure shit they weren't good guitars let me tell you and they sucked but you know experience lets you you know 
learn things and get better. And practice makes semi-perfect. Nothing's perfect, but it makes it as good as it's going to be. So, uh, yeah, we're going to, in the next video, we're actually going to tackle one neck. Um, we're going to cut it out and, um, yeah, we're going to see where we can go. We, we might also do the fretboard as well in the next video. Um, at least cut it out. We're going to try. And then we'll, we'll do the, the planing and all that stuff uh, at, another, at a later date. But, yeah, we're going to get this going here. So in the next video, be prepared to see some neck cutting. Yes. We're going to cut this out. And we're going to build a, a flat headstock neck. Almost like the ones you see on fenders most of the time. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm going to have a tremolo system on the, uh, the, the guitar that I have in mind. The next one, I don't know. I haven't decided that yet, but we'll decide that as we go along. We don't need to worry about that just yet. We're, we're working on necks now. And uh, so, yeah, be prepared because we're going at it. We're back and we're building stuff. So this is Nate Apocalypse Guitars. Hope you have a wonderful week or whatever. <laughs> Weekend, week, I don't know, wherever it is in your, your, I don't even know what day it is today. So I, don't know. I hope you have a good day or night. Take care, everyone.